Hi, so it's my great privilege to be able to show you on day of release Moog's brand new polysynth, the Moog Muse. It's got eight voices, two synth engines, three oscillators, three LFOs, two filters, a diffusion delay, and a big fat juicy sound that you're gonna love. It sounds to me as good as the Moog One in many ways. I think it really is a triumph in design. It's taken them five years apparently to design it and it shows because they thought of everything. Right, let's check it out. So basically you've got two synth engines, each one with three oscillators, three LFOs, two filters, two envelopes, and a diffusion delay which they share. Oscillators one and two are identical and they have a variable wave shape which goes from a sawtooth through to a triangle. You've also got a pulse wave which is variable and you can mix between the two. The third oscillator is called the modulation oscillator and it's really cool because it can either be used as a regular oscillator or a modulator. When you use it as a modulator, it can affect the pitch of oscillators one and two, the filter, pulse width modulation, or pan. So of course with three oscillators, it's got that very big Moog sound. You've got two filters, one is high or low pass, the other is just low pass. They can go in series, in stereo or in parallel. You've got three dedicated LFOs. There's a pitch LFO, which is automatically routed to the pitch, but you can assign it to other stuff. And two other LFOs, which are identical. They've got these user wave shapes, which are really interesting and cool. You can get some very warbly effects with them. Over here on the mixer section, you've got a ring modulator, which is great for making some clangorous kind of noises. What I really love is this overload feature. Now what it is, is on the Moog One, for instance, the gain structure was very perfectly set. It never overloaded, because if you've got a lot of voices, you can't have it too hot going into the filter. But the classic sound of the mini Moog was really that. It was the mixer going too hot into the filter and it gave you this really growly, beefy sound. And now you can achieve that on the Muse. So in that sense, the Muse is better than the Mo One, in my opinion. Gets fat. Now the path is 100% analog until you switch in the effect, which is a diffusion delay. It's digital, it's really characterful. It can be 12 bit or 16 bit, uh, and you can just use it as a normal delay. Which sounds really very nice. You can tweak the character of it.
or if you use it in diffusion mode, it can act like a reverb. One of my favourite things about the Muse, beyond its glorious sound, is how easy it is to modulate stuff and how many different ways you can articulate that. You can go to any module and press assign button, then tweak where you want it to assign to, and those things are connected straight away. Then you can go in this mod map and fine tweak it. And there's some cool sources like sustain pedal. You know, you can press a sustain pedal and it will make a load of things happen. You've also got this macro knob Again, you can assign anything to. You've got an expression pedal, you've got the aftertouch, you've got the mod. All of them can be assigned to lots of different things. For instance, with this sound here, if I press the sustain pedal, one oscillator goes up an octave and uh, does some different stuff with the wave shaping. And then if I press macro, I think a different oscillator comes in, it goes down an octave. So it's like this. <laughs> Very cool. You know, they've really thought about everything when it comes to editing this. It's so easy and so well set out. It's absolute genius. Obviously, you can stack the two simps on each other or split them. I haven't touched on everything. You've got the arpeggiator. You've got a sequencer, which is up to 64 steps, and you can record parameters with the sequencer. Sounds very cool. Um, you can really go in deep with it. It would be too long a video for me to cover everything. Suffice it to say, this thing is the new king of synths, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. 